one up. Beetle bomb. Under his own power, always a good thing. Okay, we're back. Uh, and say, say again, how's uh, the front brake? Yep, front brake, uh, rear brake is great, uh, accelerates well. Uh, decelerates nice, drops into idle, the front brake's a little squishy, so a little tightening up on that. Yeah, it, yeah, it needs, it, yeah. <laughs> it needs to be tightened. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, pretty good. Sounded good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she runs just fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right, uh, we adjusted the front brake uh, cable. It's nice and tight, got a good feel. Kevin's going to do another power drive, test drive to um, make sure the front brake is good. <laughs> he stole it. <laughs> Died on me. Just now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we need to tighten that brake a little bit. All right. All right, here he comes. So we did the test drive checking the front brake. We've adjusted it as much as it can be adjusted. We have a nice firm handle. That's no problem. I mean, it's stuck it's right there. That's, that's tight. But it's still not stopping the bike you, the way you think it should. Mm-mm. No. Front it's brake is mushy. Mushy. Yep. Mushy, mushy. Mushy, mushy. Okay, what I would say is um, pull that front brake apart and check out the, um, the brake shoes and basically once you have it apart there's no reason to not change the brake shoes mm -hmm. unless you see something in there that uh, is basically wrong um you, you talk to your client and decide yeah. what you want to do but my recommendation is let's go into the front wheel and find out what's happening with those brake shoes all right kevin just rode this tr6 and it runs great it's just great it's everything about it is great except the front brake and we adjusted the cable and adjustment on the front brake uh, twice, did two uh, test runs, and uh, still not happy with this, very mushy. So we pulled the front wheel off. We've got the brake assembly here. Uh, first and foremost, these are old riveted brakes rather than bonded, uh, which means they could be original, I don't know. They're in good shape. They've, they've got beef, but um, so we're gonna do do two things. We're, first of all, we're going to break the glaze with uh, some sandpaper. We're going to we're going to sand these and break the glaze on them. And we're interesting. You can see the wear pattern on this. Mm. We're going to break the glaze, and then we're also going to come in here and break the glaze on the face of the drum a little bit, and uh, test ride it again. And if that doesn't improve the braking. Um, the front brake efficiency, um, Kevin will contact the owner and suggest new, um, new brake shoes. Okay, so we uh, did 
deglazed the front uh, brake shoes and the front brake drum and uh, Kevin's going to do another chest ride and see what happens. I, uh, my experience is over the years is I've done this two or three times and frankly it doesn't make a difference. Uh, cleaning them just doesn't, doesn't help and I end up replacing them anyway. Let's see what happens this time. And here he comes, coming back. <laughs> he stole it. <laughs> okay, Kevin, other than stalling the bike like a newbie rider, <laughs> how did your test ride go? I, the brakes are better. Uh, at high speed, they're still a little mushy for me. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to the discretion of the owner. Um, he does some work himself, and I'll ask him whether he wants me to change out the brake shoes or he wants to do that. I think that would be the next step, because we've cleaned and adjusted yeah. everything that we can. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. it's not going to get any better that way. The next step are brake shoes. All right. I agree with you 100%. Frankly, if it were in my shop, I'd change those flipping shoes and tell the, tell the, <laughs> tell the owner that it was needed. Yeah. But uh, you're much nicer than I am. Yeah. <laughs> I've always said that. Oh, I'm sure after I'm doing this 20 years, I'll get mean too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to publish this. <laughs> All right. <laughs>